it. Talk about your moment in the sun. Each one of you has a small piece of this trophy today. I think Dan Snyder is the perfect person to pick up that legacy and run with it. When Daniel Snyder purchased Washington's franchise at just 34 years old, he became the youngest owner to buy an NFL team in league history. To the fans of Washington, uh, you want to win, we want to win, and we're going to deliver that. But Snyder has never delivered on that promise. Since 1998, Washington has only won two playoff games and never advanced past the divisional round. Oh, step over the head of the holder and the PAT fails. Under Snyder's 24 year reign, Washington only had six winning seasons while starting 27 quarterbacks and employing 10 different head coaches. Over the football, it's loose. Giants say they have it, here they do. Attendance has plummeted. In 2000, Washington ranked first in the league in average attendance. This past season, last in the league. Confronted with empty seats in a rundown stadium and a losing record, Snyder also came under increasing pressure to change the team's controversial name and mascot, something he swore he would never do. Um, the name of our football team is the name of our football team. But in 2020, after pushback from corporate sponsors like FedEx, Snyder folded. The Washington franchise announced it will be changing its team nickname and logo. We begin today with news out of Washington. Further damaging accusations of harassment. What's the limit? What's the line? The controversies continued. In just a two-year period, Snyder and his team have been investigated by Congress, the Federal Trade Commission, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the Department of Justice, and multiple state attorneys general for financial improprieties, sexual misconduct, and a toxic workplace culture. Through it all, Snyder swore he would never sell the team. 30 plus sources have told ESPN that Commander's owner Dan Snyder has been digging up, quote, dirt on other NFL owners and Commissioner Roger Goodell. I think what the league would love is for Snyder to sell the team. Not have to go to a vote, but just sell the team. Just five days after an ESPN investigation revealed how far Snyder has gone to hold on to his team, Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Ursay said what no owner had ever said before. I believe that there's merit to remove him as owner. Within a matter of days, Snyder announced he would consider selling the team, the very thing he had sworn he would never do. But never say never again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.